One up, it's Snowflake. And guess what? This here is a DVD. Mm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on the side of the computer because this is tutorial number eight in my DVD Studio Pro series. And I'm gonna show you how to finalize this disc we just created. So, uh, there's gonna be two ways to do this, all right? And we're just gonna go over one of them in this tutorial. The first one is to wait for OS X to recognize the disc and hit the ignore button, which is gonna happen any second here. But what we're gonna do, oh, there it is, ignore. In DVD Studio Pro, after we put the disc into our computer, we're gonna hit this lovely button up here. Burn. And what's it gonna do? Hmm, I'm gonna show you. Actually, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna let DVD Studio Pro do everything. It's simply formatting and preparing the disc for burning. It's getting all the files uh, set up and it's gonna burn it to that disc that I just popped into the side of my computer. Cool. So, a couple things that I want you to pay attention to as it's doing this. First of all, You'll notice in the left-hand corner here is the log. In the log, there's lots of little complicated jargon about writing the VTS number three to the .vob file found in the video TS folder, right? So it's got all this stuff going on. You don't have to worry about any of that, all right? But what you do have to pay attention to is if you screwed up and one of your buttons is pointing to nothing or one of your videos ends and it goes nowhere or when you pop your disc in, nothing happens because there's, no, uh, there's no first play selected. It will actually give you a warning down there and it will say warning or, or whatever it says. It will give you some sort of notification that, hey, you're an idiot and you forgot to point this button in the right direction. And that's okay. That's fine. You just wasted a disc, but that's okay by hitting the burn function because the burn function just straight up burns a disc. That's all it does, right? Uh, but it'll give you that warning so you know that that disc, it'll, it'll finish, but you might have a button in there and you click it and nothing happens, right? And so you would have to go back and fix that and burn another disc in order for it to work correctly. So pay attention to your log, okay? Second thing is, what kind of DVD should you use? Personally, I only use verbatim. That's it, <clears throat> nothing else. I have tried so many brands of DVDs, it's ridiculous, okay? Um, a lot of times if a place doesn't have verbatim, then I gotta, oh, I'll try this. Don't do it. Please go on Amazon. I will get, I'll put a link in the description to buy a verbatim. Uh, verbatim, I have had the least problems with in terms of bad discs. You know, discs not working or you pop it in and there's some error, right? And it's saying the clusters are, right? You know, verbatim, fewest problems ever. Um, so I highly suggest this. I use, and I'm not affiliated with verbatim in any way, okay? I'm not affiliated with them. I don't get paid by them to, you know, say anything about their brand. This is uh, what I would use, though. I also use the LightScribe discs because I have a DVD uh, burner that does LightScribe, and what that is is on the cover side of it, where there would usually, like on a movie or whatever, there'd be like a picture. It burns like a black and white image into the disc, and <clears throat> that way you can go in, you can create an image and put it there, or you can put text there, or you can do whatever and make it set up however you want to set it up, you know? But LightScribe is cool like that. But they also have just regular VD, um, verbatim. And this is DVD minus R. I don't use the plus R, I use the DVD minus R. There, there's a difference. Um, and I think most DVD players accept the minus R better. So I just always use the minus R. And that's about it for the DVD. Um, what else? Uh, what else can I, as the disc is formatting here, finishing up, what else can I explain to you? So, okay, so the burn function, the burn function only burns to a DVD. Um, the files that it's burning to a DVD, it doesn't save it anywhere except that DVD. So on your hard drive or on your desktop, your computer, wherever you put this stuff, it doesn't save a folder with all of these DVD files. That's not what the burn function does. When you hit burn in DVD Studio Pro, it asks you for a disk. If the disk is in there, it starts burning it like that. And when it's done, you have a disc that is burned with your videos, everything that we've built is on that disc. And when you pop it into a DVD player or a computer, that video comes up and that's what we've created, right? But there's no files anywhere that you can say, oh, these are my DVD files, this is what it burned on that disc. Those don't exist anywhere except the disc that's just about to pop out of my computer. Oh, snap. Formatting successful, here's my disc. You can see on this side, there's a little bit of data different coloration. We're gonna pop it back in just to make sure it works. 
okay? You always want to make sure the AD works. But we're going to formatting successful, so I'm going to hit OK. All right. And I'm going to save again. I'm going to hide that. Wait for it to pop up on the desk. But like I said, um, in the next tutorial, the next tutorial is the one where I'm going to show you how you actually save those files somewhere. And then you can use a different program to burn them to a disk if you want to do that, right? Um, and it saves the files in some location, okay? But for this, just the disk. Disk is on my desktop. Automatically opens up. This is the first play, which is the first thing you see when you pop the disk in, which is the main menu. I can go navigate through the chapters menus. I can go back to the main menu. I can go back to chapters menu. I can go to episode two. I can go to chapter one. See if it works. It works. <laughs> He's snoring. <laughs> really loud. <laughs> oh wow, I have to go full screen for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be a funny episode. I'm sure of it. I'm absolutely sure of it. So, that is it for episode number eight of the DVD Studio Pro series. That's how you burn a disc in DVD Studio Pro. Uh, I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure to like the video and comment on it. Uh, you know, maybe you should subscribe and check back for some more cool videos. And then uh, make sure to check back later for more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, and Compressor and DVD Studio Pro, and check back for the next and possibly last tutorial uh, for the DVD Studio Pro series. Peace out.